Hello viewers, welcome back to the Metalian ETL for Redshift series. In the first episode, we introduced what Metalian is, how it works, behind the scenes and where it's used in data projects. Now we are ready to dive in and in this episode, we'll explore the Metalian interface and understand the two job types you will see throughout this series. The first one is orchestration job, the second one is transformation job. So you will be basically using these two job types inside Metalian. So here is a quick illustration of orchestration and the transformation job. In Metalian, orchestration jobs control the flow of your ETL process, loading files, running scripts and scheduling actions. Transformation jobs on the other hand are where the real data processing happens using SQL behind the scenes to manipulate data inside your warehouse. Also, we will be using the Metalian Hub, which is a free browser-based version of Metalian. It's great for practice and learning. So the screen now you are seeing that that is of the Metalian Hub. You might ask, why are we using Metalian Hub instead of the full enterprise version? Well, Metalian Enterprise is a licensed tool available only to organizations. But the good news is, Metalian Hub mirrors the same interface, structure and job flow. So everything you will build here will directly translate to working in a production grade enterprise setup. Whether your company uses Redshift, Snowflake or BigQuery, it doesn't matter. We can learn everything inside this Metalian hub. So let's now take a quick tour of the Metalian enterprise version interface. So this is the Metalian enterprise version interface you are seeing in the screen. And each section is marked as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are basically 8 sections. The first one is the project menu. So if you see here, here is the project menu. And this is where you manage your project level settings like importing or exporting jobs, managing version history or cloning a job. It acts as a control center for your entire Metalian workspace. And the second one is the navigation panel where you are seeing a default workspace or a default project group. So this is located on the left side of the screen and this panel shows your folders and job structure. So both orchestration and transformation jobs are present inside this default project group. And uh, this navigation panels helps you easily jump between jobs and organize them into categories. And the third one is your job canvas. So this blank space that you are seeing, this is the job canvas, which looks like a matrix. So the canvas is where the magic happens. You drag and drop components here to build workflows. It's like the whiteboard of your ETL pipeline. And the fourth one is the component section where you have also the shared jobs and environments. So this component sections of the component menu here uh, you can see all the components uh, that you use like the s3 load uh, python script table import etc and uh, here you are seeing the shared jobs which are uh, like reusable templates and uh, this is the environments panel where you configure it ships credentials and um, variables connection details and all and the fifth one here is a properties panel so when you click on any components from this section, its setting appears here. You can enter table names, file paths, SQL queries, or any custom parameters for that particular component that you have chosen here from here. And the sixth one is a task panel. So this is your uh, execution log window, and it shows job run status, error messages, and runtime details. It's the first place to check when something goes wrong. And the seventh one is the admin. So this is the admin menu. Admin menu lets you manage users, permissions, configurations in the enterprise version. And um, in Metalian Hub, some admin features may be limited, but the basics like uh, version control and environment settings are still accessible. And the last one is the help menu. Help, what does it mean? Like uh, this, uh so if you need any documentation or you are stuck on any component uh, this help menu links directly to official docs and tool tips for uh, quick guidance let's now move to the metalian hub let's see how the interface differs from this metalian enterprise version 
So in the left hand side, we have this navigation panel. If we click on this add icon, we have different options for orchestration pipeline, transformation pipeline, Python script, SQL script, and so on. And here is our project name, the Redshift Material Training. Inside the project or the project work group, we have two different jobs mentioned, or we have two different jobs created. The first one is the Metalian Orc 01, which is a orchestration job. Second one is a Trans 01, which is a transformation job. So we can differentiate between two types of jobs by seeing the color or the icon. So O stands for orchestration and T stands for transformation. And orchestration job is in blue color. This transformation job is in green color. Let's first open any of these jobs and see what's inside. Let me open the transformation job first. If you can see here, we have a canvas similar to the Material Enterprise Edition. And inside this canvas, there is a plus icon. If we click on this plus icon, we can see the add component option popping up. Inside this, we have the component sections. We have mostly every component same as the enterprise label or the enterprise uh, version of the material. So we have uh, we have aggregate here, asset view, calculator, convert type, create view, detect changes, distinct. So these are mostly same as the material and enterprise version. Let's click on any of the components from here. So this is a table input component. Once we click on this component, a property window or a property section is popping up. The first one is database. We have to choose the database from here, the schema, then the table or the target table name, column names, frame columns, yes or no. Now, if we see there are three buttons present over here, the first one is validate, second one is schedule, the third one is run. So let's go to the first one, validate, what it does. So this validate button uh, validates this whole workflow or any particular or individual components over here. Let's say for this table input component, we have different properties. If there is any issue with any of these properties, let's say the schema name or the target table is wrong, this validation will fail. So the validate component or the validate button does the job here. Coming to the schedule part, this is used for scheduling this transformation and run. So this run button runs this whole transformation job. So if we click on run, task history will open up and we can see the task is running here and the completion status is running. Once it is completed, the completion status will change. So in the background, the run component or the run job first validates it first the whole transformation will be validated first then it will execute the transformation so we can see here it is completed now and the plus icon over here is to add components any components we can add from here like the table input table output calculator filters and so on and this x icon you are seeing here this is to manage the job variables we can create any job variables and use them in our transformations. So that's it for this episode. We now got a clear idea of what the Metalian interface looks like, both in enterprise version and in the Metalian hub. We walked through the canvas, components, variable panels, and how everything fits together to build ETL workflows visually. And even though we are using this hub version, here, most of the concepts like uh, job structure, component flow, and variable usage all are exactly the same in enterprise environment. From the next episode onwards, we'll start building real workflow step by step using key components like uh, S3, table input and table output, and much more. So stay tuned. We'll slowly explore each core feature of Metalian Hub and gradually move toward designing full orchestration and transformation pipelines. If this video helped you understand Metalian a little better, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Drop a comment if you have any questions or if there is something specific you would like to see in the upcoming episodes.